excuse the gloom, but none may know of this meeting. The nature of my trouble is darker still. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. He was as loyal a subject, ally, and friend as you are. I did grieve for him, but his spirit does not rest. With the spectral army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying for revenge. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Perhaps you can find the answer and close the marble jaws of oblivion, bringing peace to his soul. I ask this as your emperor and as your friend. I have one lesser request. Several years ago, I wrote a letter to the Queen of Daggerfall. It never arrived. The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. If you find and destroy that letter, I will be grateful. Now my champion rests well this night, for tomorrow you sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall.
Let me take a look. Yes, I hope this helps you. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Need something? I'm waiting. Ah, thank you for responding to my letter. I am Lady Brisiena. Let me bring you to date on affairs. The specter of King Lysandus haunts the streets of Daggerfall at night. Trying to communicate with him is futile. He will occasionally moan the word vengeance. But that is the only coherent word I have ever heard him utter. If you are ever in Daggerfall, do not wander the city at night. You are certain to be attacked by his legion of ghosts. It would probably be more gainful to investigate those who might have wronged Lysandus, to find the cause behind his torment. I do not know if the royal family of Daggerfall or another person or persons merit more suspicion. The major powers of the Bay, Sentinel, Wayrest, and Daggerfall may be good places to investigate. You could perhaps begin by visiting Queen Abk Ai at Castle Daggerfall. She is looking for a mercenary to find out what has become of Milfaga, the King's grandmother. It's 
could be a good way to ingratiate yourself with the royal family there. In the matter of the letter, the Emperor's agent says that he was unable to hand deliver it to the Queen because of the war. He hired a courier who supposedly delivered the letter in his stead. We do not even know the name of this courier. Obviously, there is little information of use, but it would be worthwhile to see whether the letter arrived at Castle Daggerfall at all. How you decide to do this is entirely your decision. I will contact you if any new information should surface. I am leaving Daggerfall soon. My position here has been compromised and my life is in danger. Do not mention my name in court. It is more likely to hurt than help. I own many properties in Daggerfall. Feel free to use Wynn My Son, a modest house within the city walls, for as long as you like. Good luck, and watch your back. All are free to petition His Highness at this time. Do not stray from the audience chamber, lest you have royal blessing to do so. Always speak politely to the King and Queen, and above all, cast no spells within these walls. Do you agree with these terms? Good enough.
what brings you into our presence? Yes, indeed, I have been looking for a mercenary. My husband's poor grandmother, Nulfarga, is rumored to be in very frail health, her once brilliant mind almost utterly destroyed. She has locked herself in her castle in the Rothgarian Mountains, and experiments in magical studies with no regard for her own safety. I would know of her condition, but few possess the bravery to face the horrors of her castle and speak with her. My reward for a report on her health is an elven dagger of banishing. Will you be my champion in this? Oh, by the gods, I am glad to have found a champion. The name of her castle is Shidungent. If she is insane, Shidungent may be a very dangerous place indeed. Be very careful. May Kinareth and Mara protect you. <laughs>